Hi everybody, Tammy here, and I wanted to do a brief video to talk about something really cool that I learned about um, in the recent Ditch Summit with Matt Miller. I was just so excited. I just thought, I, I got to share this with my teachers right now. So I wanted to make this really fast. I also ordered his book that just came out, Do More with Google Classroom. Matt Miller just got it on Amazon and it's going to be here Tuesday. I'm excited about that and I'll be sharing all the good stuff with you. Um, but this is a bad out, spicing up your Google Classroom assignments titles or um, descriptions or instructions or whatever, just spicing it up just a little bit to catch the eye. Um, so I'm here in a Google Classroom, just an example classroom that I've created. You'll notice the numbers um, that has kind of been um, out there for the last year or so on how to organize your assignments by number. Um, so you would just go in order and that way it would be easy to find those assignments. Also notice we have different topics. You can do it by unit or by um, actual topic content. Um, that's up to you. Um, one thing that he mentioned in the D Ditch Summit, and this was his session, by the way, um, which I just really loved. And, and sadly, the Ditch Summit is over. However, um, that's got some good stuff that I have curated. And if you need to know that information, just let me know, um, was this section up here at the top. So you can move your topics around. It's all draggable. And the, he mentioned um, the right now section or the right now topic and have that up at the top. And so when the kids come to the classwork tab, the first thing they see is right now. And then I just, just changed it to today. So this can be changed to today or right now. If you have different things that you do throughout the day and the kids are coming back several times throughout the day, right now might be more appropriate and then you can just change it halfway through the day um, and then when you're done with those activities then you just take that activity and move it down to its appropriate topic that's up to you however i wanted to show you emojis and adding emojis to your titles or to your assignments in some way really easy to do so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this random assignment i created i'm going to go and edit it you can edit it or just do it right off the bat once you are in a text box, you are able to add emojis. And maybe you've seen this and you weren't sure how that was possible. So really easy to do. If you are on a PC or a laptop, a PC laptop, Windows laptop, then you would hit the Windows button and the period. So when you hit Windows period, then that emoji toolbar is going to come up and you're able to add these different um, emojis. If you're on a Chromebook, then you just right click in the text box here and then choose the emoji tools that should be right up at the top after right clicking. And if you are using a Chromebook that just got a trackpad, right clicking is a double tap, just in case you didn't know that. Double tap, and that's your right click, and then choose the emoji. All right, so what I wanted to show you is how cool this is when you're looking visually in your classroom. This is social studies, so I'm going to choose the different emojis here and then for social studies, maybe I want the, um, the earth and I'm gonna choose the globe here. And so and I like that, so that looks really good. I'm gonna save that and then so there it shows up right there. And then for math, I'm going to edit this one. And maybe I choose, um, let's see what they've got. I've got to, to get those up, pulled up. I'm going to see what they come up with math. Um, you could use either any one of these. I think there was a better one. Oops, I need to do the emojis first. There it is. There's the ruler, I kind of like that. I'm gonna save that. And then for Elar, you can use the books. So I'm gonna edit that. I'm going to bring the, um, let's see if we can find that. There we go, I want that one. I'm gonna save that. And then one more for science. Let's see what we can find for science. Um, let's see if we can just bring it down. There we go. 
little flask, kind of like that. You can use a microscope, that's kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna save that, and then you can see visually how cool that is. And you, if you can imagine, especially if you have, have different subjects, um, how nice it would be to be able to identify those subjects by emoji, that's really cool. Um, one thing that um, Matt had mentioned is anything that's new that needed to be done. So I'm gonna move this up to the today and I'm going to edit that. And for everything that's new, he likes to put the explosion icon. So I'm going to bring that up and it's called, um, let me see, I believe he called it collision. Yeah, so that's this one right here. And that means when they see that, that's brand new. And then you can always edit and change it back. So a um, nice visual way in your assignments to be able to do that, but not just in your assignments, you can use it. Um, he had suggested um, use it as bullet points. So again, just bring that up. Um, I've got these that are, you can do thumbs up, item one. And then let me get out of the emojis. There we go. Item one. And then you can actually copy that and paste it, or you can just keep doing different um, emojis um, all the way down. So you can use it in your instructions um, just a little bit. Um, just kind of add bullets in your instructions, which is kind of nice. So just really quick, really easy using those emojis um, to spice up your Google Classroom assignments just a little bit. And you can check out all those emoji options and see what works best, have some kind of system. Um, it's great to organize, and this is just a visually more appealing way to organize. So I hope that helps. More tips on the way. Thank you to Matt Miller with Ditch That Textbook and his new book and i'm just so excited about getting that so let me know if you have any questions and i hope you have a great day